Hey everybody, John Wagnon with Dev Central coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video today. And today we're going to talk about priority groups uh, with pool members. And when traffic comes into your big IP, you know, which pool member gets selected based on priority and that kind of thing. And this actually came to us from, uh, from a question that was posed on our Facebook page. So point number one is, did you know we actually have a Facebook page? So get out there and use that. And we're watching that and, uh, and answering questions uh, on that as well. So anyway, so we wanted to talk about priority groups today. So I'm going to draw a, uh, a couple little diagrams here. Let's say you have your big IP here and you have three prior priority groups um, defined in your big IP. So I'm going to put these three. And each of these have, uh, I'll put little boxes inside the big boxes. Let's say there's um, three pool members per group. So I'm just gonna bear with me while I draw these little boxes and big boxes. All right, so if I label this one uh, uh, priority one, and then this one's priority two, and then this one is priority three, um, which I cut one quick point on this, by the way, uh, some would think that if I, if I labeled one of these groups priority one, then that's going to be the most important because it's the number one priority. It's actually just the opposite. The highest number, so in this case the number three, the highest number of the priority groups is the one that's going to um, you know, be the highest priority. So this is going to get the traffic first. And so the scenario that was described on our Facebook page, the question that was asked is they said, hey, if I have a, a scenario where I want to uh, pool traffic to, a, uh, to my pool members down here with priorities uh, listed. If I say pool my pool, alrighty, so this is kind of the scenario that was described. And then we have a load balance uh, mode is fastest, which in this case, this, the load balancing mode is not gonna, the fastest is not gonna be a significant factor here, but nonetheless, that's the way that, uh, that it's described here, so we'll, we'll put it in. And then, uh, and then this is uh, significant. The minimum um, active members is uh, is going to be something that that is significant. And in and in this case, it's uh, two. And then right after this, they're going to define all the pools. So you have you have uh, pool member, and we'll call it A. And then the IP address for that. And then the priority for that, uh, they said was one. And then rather than write them all down, you can just you can imagine pool member B and priority is one. So what they did is they said there's going to be uh, three pool members in each of priority one, and then three more in priority two, and then three more in priority three. So the question is, who gets the traffic? And, mo and more specifically, if one of these goes down, then who gets the traffic? And so the answer is... Uh, and, and again, keep in mind here that, uh, that this minimum active members two uh, is going to drive, it, is going to be a significant factor in terms of, of how this traffic uh, is, is uh, load balanced to the different pool members. All right, so if, so we'll go through a couple of, couple of scenarios here. If every, if every single pool member's up and the priorities are good to go, then uh, then the priority three group is going to, uh, the, all the traffic is going to load balance to this priority three group because that is the highest priority because it's the highest number priority. Um, and then let's say if, let's say, and I'm going to use a couple different uh, colors here. Let's say that this uh, member goes down right here. This uh, one of the priority three uh, pool members goes down. Because the minimum of active members is two, then this priority group is still going to get all of the traffic. It's going to load balance to this entire to these remaining two pool members in this priority group. Okay, so that's the way it works. And then let's say another one of these goes down. Well, then there's only one left in this priority group, but we have minimum active members is two. And so we can't load balance everything to this one because there's only one left. So what is going to happen at that point is the remaining pool member in this priority group is going to get traffic load balance to it. But then it's also going to activate this entire priority group number two. So at that point, if these two go down, then there's going to be four pool members that are going to get uh, traffic load balance to them. And so let's step through uh, a couple other scenarios. Let's say this one goes down. 
then, uh, then this is still going to get traffic and then these two are going to get traffic because there are a minimum of two active members and in this case there would be three available so you're still good. Uh, if this one goes down then these two would get all the traffic because there's two active members still available. Um, if this one goes down then suddenly there's only one in this priority group so now we have to activate priority group number one so now then these four would get traffic. Uh, so you can see how it kind of starts to starts to walk through the activation of an entire priority group. Um, and then as pool members go down in that priority group, then, uh, then traffic is either going to get load balanced there or not based on the minimum active members number. So you can see that as you change this number, then the, uh, you know, then the, the, the response, the, uh, you know, the way that traffic gets load balanced is going to change as well. So, um, so anyway, so it's a great question out there, which by the way, one other thing that I would point out is let's say that, let's say that every single um, pool member is, is down for whatever reason, whether it's marked down or it goes down from a monitor or whatever it is. So let's say that every single one of them, except for just one, let's say that the, like this one right here, and frankly, it doesn't have to be priority three, it could be any of the one, is still left up, then, then at that point, you know, you don't have two active members, but the answer is still that that would get all of the traffic. So even though there's two minimum active members established in this scenario, if there's only one left, it still gets traffic because it is still up. So it would have to be the case that every single one of them was down before none of them gets traffic, of course. Uh, so anyway, so because this is a minimum active two and you only have one left, it doesn't automatically shut that one down. That one still gets traffic. So I wanted to mention a couple of those things. Um, so I hope this helps a little bit in terms of the understanding behind priority groups, who gets traffic, when they get traffic, and, and the way that you know, the different pool members are going to, uh, to behave based on, you know, based on the way that you uh, describe things here in, in your uh, configuration. So, uh, so again, thanks for getting out there on our Facebook page. Um, thanks for asking questions. We want to be responsive to that. Hope this has helped. Get out there, configure, uh, configure that big IP. And we hope that that traffic flows uh, smoothly and efficiently for you. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.